no! Cletus has green spots! I'm not sure what we're going to do about that. If we're going to have to buy the cure. I can't get a computer. And I can't go to Selva Dorada. So... Yeah, Cletus, you might be on your own. Hi, this is Charity, and welcome back to the Horse Ranch Hotel Challenge. The link to the rules will be in the description below if you want to follow along. And Juliana Goldblum, oh, we got Toxic Mold. <laughs> She's just working on her horse riding and trying to get some of her horse's skills up so that she can compete in the Ultimate Horse Championship. She has to win five Masters first, though. And everyone's starting to wake up, even though some of them are still tired. Like you. Why are you up? We also have a new family joining us. Cletus Harris and Jeb Harris. And then the mother, whose name is Faye. And then little Ian. So we have another toddler. Oh, and I almost forgot about Gideon. So we also have another child. Well, while Juliana is getting in some early morning training, we really should start going to the next competition. Uh-oh, it feels like it has been forever since Akiko has been romantic with her partner. It could be paranoia, anxiety, or a gut feeling, but Sakiko can't help but wonder what her partner is up to or who they are seeing behind her back. I think that ship has sailed. He left the hotel without you, Sakiko, because you were flirting with someone else. Oh, Dominic, do you got that? Thanks, Dominic. Your friend. I think Dappleganger only has two more competitions that need to be beaten before he can participate in the ultimate horse competition. Oh no, Vlad is neat. I don't like it when they all become neat because unfortunately that makes them clean the environment in ways that aren't needed and ignore their hygiene. And we did not place in the jumping competition. If you ever notice your toddler is constantly dropping food without finishing it, it's because they're a picky eater. It is not a bug. It's a feature. Yep, she gets the bleh. I don't like that. And she doesn't finish it. But that's okay. Her hunger's full anyway. Oh no. Cletus has green spots. I'm not sure what we're going to do about that. If we're going to have to buy the cure. I can't get a computer. And I can't go to Selva Dorada. So... Yeah, Cletus, you might be on your own. Yeah, if you have to go to the bathroom, don't get off the horse, Juliana. Ride the horse to the bathroom so that you don't walk there very, very slowly. I just realized that Raiko wants to be a good vampire. Well, I guess she needs to make friends with Vlad. It's difficult to like Vlad, though, because he has that hissing thing. That's one of his weaknesses as a vampire. Oh no, it's a tedious conversation. She must be using duplicate socials or something. Okay, she finally has the ability to ask Vlad to turn her. Well, we might have two vampires soon. Oh no, Cletus wasn't able to fight off the poisoning and it has progressed and gotten worse. Might want to do something about that soon. I'm pretty sure he has the one that will make him dead in three days now. Well, we might lose Cletus. We could always have one of the spellcasters resurrect him though. It's not really that bad. Okay, Juliana has maxed the horse riding skill. Now we just need to do the ultimate horse competition. And of course, we're going to get five master competitions in the process of doing that. You actually have to do six minimum with one horse in order to get to the ultimate. Oh, Morgan is squeamish. That means Morgan will be leaving us at the end of the week. And we also had Angela Pleasant stop by. So she is now in the household. 
Well, it looks like Rico is becoming a vampire. She wants to be a good vampire, though. Well, we have some vampires in the sun. Bye, Cian. Uh, we didn't really know her, though. <laughs> Hi, Grim. Every once in a while, I have vampire passerbys in my game. It just decide to walk around in the sun and, yeah, I can't make it. I don't know why they do that. Okay, Vlad has reached horse riding level 10. Maybe that'll be another sign that someone ha is done with their time here because I don't want people to have really, really good horse riding skill since this is a hotel and the training is supposed to be mostly done by Juliana. So maybe we can say that, okay, horse riding level 10 is a little bit too high. We need to probably lower that. I'm going to say maybe horse riding level three or every, maybe every two levels they get. So if, if they get to horse riding level two, then they have to leave and they can come back next time because I'm getting way too many people here and the game is getting kind of laggy. Well, maybe I'll make it horse riding level five because it seems like a lot of people already have level two or three. And yeah, I, I think maybe level five. If they get to level five, then they have to come back another time. Oh no, Cletus. I kind of forgot about that. Yeah. Cletus unfortunately got poisoned and I guess he did not work through it. So we kind of lost Cletus. I didn't want to spend a thousand simoleons on the antidote, but I do have a bunch of spellcasters and we could just resurrect him. Or we could say, yeah, that's just one of the risks of staying on a ranch and having poisonous snakes and poisonous spiders everywhere. Oh yeah, you're burning in the sun. You need to go inside. So we did have Morgan leave because Morgan is squeamish. And then we had a couple of people leave because they had reached horse riding level five. I think actually it was only one person that did. I forget who. And then we had the family leave. The Oops, there's another vampire, Vlad. I had Vlad leave because he was level 10. And he went and he died. Vlad. Maybe I should have had him leave during the night. I guess that was a mistake. Whoops. Anyway, as I was saying, the Harris family has also left because the dad died. So sad. So this cabin is now empty. And then we still have the Charm family in here. And the Fleming and Ty family over here. And then we have the bunkhouse. So the people who are staying in the bunkhouse, Sakika, Angela. So we still do have one vampire down here. And then we have Corey. And that's about it. Most people are staying in the houses, so they're not in the bunkhouse anymore. Now, where did Vlad die? I have to release his spirit or he will haunt me. Oh, Kayla likes horse riding. No, well, we're not going to say that, though, because... That makes it impossible for her to dislike it. The only one who's allowed to like horseback riding is Juliana. Oh, Rico is neat. So that means probably not going to be squeamish, but I've seen it happen where someone who is neat also becomes squeamish. I'm not sure how she got the neat trait when she's sitting over here playing chess. Okay, she's feverish. Rico is feverish. I did not know that vampires could get sick. That doesn't make any sense, but I, vampires were after get to work. So I believe the sicknesses come from get to work and vampires should not get sick. That is an oversight from the Sims team. Well, the only thing we have left to do is to place at the ultimate horse championship. So we have everyone riding horses and trying to get their skill up. 
The only one really that is qualified for the race is Doppelganger. So he's the only one that will be entering that competition. No, Ranch Hand. I am trying to work with Doppelganger. Go away. Ah, I'm going to have to fire him. Okay, this time the Ranch Hand actually worked with the horse that I am not talking to. Thank you for keeping Dynamo busy. Oh wait, that's not Doppelganger. That's Firefly. They look alike. Well, Doppelganger, today is the last day to train. Because we have to do the ultimate horse competition today. I don't know if we'll be able to place because all of his skills are level 9 except for temperament, which is level 8. And the recommended level is level 10 for everything. And still, you sometimes don't win. Okay, I can't really figure it out. If a horse has the free spirit trait, they want to be outdoors. My horses are always outdoors. I don't have a barn, except for a little pole barn, but I don't even have them stand underneath the shelter most of the time. And for some reason, they get sad. And if you ask them what's wrong, it says they need some fresh air and they need to be outside. The only thing that helps is taking them for a ride. And then he immediately becomes sad again because he went under the shelter. I don't know. It's just ridiculous. Okay, I was able to get Dappelganger to be fine. But unfortunately, my encouraged training is not going to work out. So, yeah, we only have two check marks. This is not going to work, but we'll try. And he's sad again. I just don't get it. It's so hard to keep free spirits. I don't want any more free spirit horses. No. Gold? How? How did you get gold? <laughs> okay. This is completely random. I don't get this at all. On my Super Sim Challenge, I had my horse level 10 all across the board in a confident mood and couldn't place. It's completely random. Although I will say I did make sure that Dappelganger had a gold in each one of the master championships before he did this. So maybe that helps? Well, Juliana, you have completed your horse riding aspiration. And yeah, it's pouring down rain. So the only thing we need to do now is to get 300,000 simoleons in order to purchase the other lot that I have built. I've already built a lot with another hotel on it that has all of the things that we need for the next stage. And so, uh, we need 300,000 simoleons. We better get to breeding. Oh, it looks like my ranch hand got struck by lightning. I wouldn't stand out there, Shadow. Um, you might become a shadow if you get struck by lightning again. Okay, so Bluegrass looks like she mated with Doppelganger. And we have to wait before encouraging him to breed again. What are you doing over here, Firefly? You need to go back to the ranch. I know you like to be a free spirit, but the problem is she goes out here and then she gets hungry and she doesn't come back to eat. And there's not that much prairie grass for her to eat over here. I checked. I can't encourage her to breed with Dappelganger from her point of view either. So I guess there's a cooldown timer on breeding. It doesn't really make much sense for the stallion, but... I guess that's okay. Oh no, Cricket's time has come. Some of my chickens are probably going to be taken by Grim. And we're expecting a foal. Now can I ask him to breed again? Of course I have to dismount first. Well, I'm just trying to get everyone to bed and also try to get Doppelganger to breed. So this is Charity. Thanks for watching.